hello i thought we could do like a little spooky day there's a spooky coffee shop near me called rad coffee they have like a horror themed menu and right now they have an adam's family themed menu so i wanted to grab a drink off of that and then i've been craving reading like some horror books and so i thought i could go to barnes and noble pick up a spooky book like a thriller or just straight horror um and then joanne has halloween stuff out and i need to pick up yarn anyway for my uh spooky crochet business that i run so i just thought we could have like a spooky day and it's my first vlog so i don't know how this is gonna go but i really want to vlog some halloween hunting when hollow like real halloween decor starts hitting the shelves so i thought this was like a fun little test so let's go spend the spooky day together First stop was my beloved Rad Coffee, the best place for a groggy goblin to get a pick-me-up off of the spooky-themed menu full of classic monsters. Their current seasonal offering is Adam's Family-themed drinks. While waiting for your drink, you can play some pinball, the Scooby-Doo machine was calling my name. While waiting, I was browsing their coffee beans and admiring their packaging. I think this is so cute. They also have a ton of merch to go through. You can pretend you have red coffee at home by buying your own cute mug in your favorite color. And there's also seating in the back if you want to hang out for a bit. I ended up getting an iced tea to tag along with me on my spooky day. All right, went to Red Coffee. I got the electric mango, which is like a green tea lemonade. I actually don't drink coffee. Um, because caffeine makes me feel like I'm gonna die. This was on the Radams family menu, which I thought was cute. It's like an Adams family theme that they've got going on. They change their theming all the time. They have like horror themed drinks always, but then they'll do like a fun menu. I think they did like a Jaws one for summer last year. If you're in Southern California, there's multiple rad coffees. I wanna say there's like four or five. I'll put where they're located if you wanna try some rad coffee and actually get coffee and let me know how it is. Got my drink and now let's go to Barnes & Noble to get some horror books. Does anyone else think a final destination while riding an escalator? Anyway, it's fitting because we're going to the horror section, which happens to be at the bottom of the store and in the back quarter. For a while, it had a light that needed to be fixed, so it would flicker back here and also make this crazy high-pitched noise. It was very fitting for my horror browsing experience, but unfortunately, I think it's fixed now. I found Pretty Girls, which has been on my TBR list for years, so I finally picked it up this time. Has anyone read The Troop by Nick Cutter? It's one of my faves, but that might be a red flag. So I only ended up getting one book, which I know I said I was gonna get books, and it's not even a horror book. I'm pretty sure this was in the thriller section, um, but I got Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. Is that her real last name? Probably not. That would be so sick. I've been craving my heart getting ripped out and also just feeling like full of dread. And I've heard all those things about this book, so I'm excited. I need to get back into reading horror and thrillers. And it's almost summerween, so I feel like it's time for the transition. And speaking of, we're gonna go to Joanne next because I need to get yarn, but also we're gonna see if they have Halloween stuff out. Listen, I know you don't think Joanne is spooky, but my Joanne is very unsettling. I did end up finding the witchy decor, but it was just being put out at mine. There was this one lone blanket and these purple skeleton jars. I think they're jars. And then this skull wall decor thing. The decor at Joanne 
wasn't really for me. Um, it was just exciting to see spooky decor on the shelves though in May. It looked like they were just putting it out. It was pretty sparse. I saw someone showing like a bat thing, which I'm bummed because there was no bats when I was in there. There was barely anything, but um, I'm like really close to Michael's. So I thought we could just head over there because I actually haven't seen their like spring goth collection. We can go hang out with Michael, leave my girl Joanne, a good spooky day. The Nevermore collection was still here, which was an exciting way to end the day. I deeply regret not buying this black and white rose vase. I may need to go back to get it. Also, how are we feeling about pink plaid? I don't think it's for me, but I want to know your thoughts. I actually did end up liking some of the artwork, especially these eyeballs. It reminded me of 18th century lover's eye paintings, which I think we should bring back. I also regret not getting this little rose tin. It would be cute to store rings and small knickknacks. Michael's had quite a bit of the collection still left. Um, it came out a while ago. I know I'm like pretty late to the party, but um, it's 40% off now. The things I wanted were not there anymore, which makes sense. There was like these Gothic architecture, like wall decor. And I loved them very much, but yeah, nowhere to be found. There was there was stuff that I like, I saw the vision, but then they added like lace or like just like a little bit too much detail. Um, but it was, it was fun seeing spooky decor in spring. Like that's kind of unheard of. Thanks for coming with me on my spooky day. I, this is my first vlog. So I don't know if this will ever see the light of day, but I had a good time and I want to do more vlogs in between spooky events because those are like my favorite things to film. Thanks for coming with me. I'm gonna go crochet um, and finish up my commissions. I'll see you later.